Today I'm visiting Jackson Hole in the magnificent Tetons of Wyoming. Jackson Hole season got off to an amazing start in November. The whole mountain was open on day one. How? Well, they've had 200 inches of natural already, and it's not even Christmas. With the La Nina pattern in place, the snow is going to keep on coming, and Jackson Hole could set an all-time snowfall record this season with over 600 inches. If you're planning on skiing on Christmas Day, be sure to check the status of your favorite resort. Bryce and Mass Nutton in Virginia are both right at full operation, and that includes tubing at both resorts. The homestead is looking good for the holidays, as is tall wintergreen in South Central Virginia. It's been snowy for the past couple of weeks at Canaan Valley and Timberline in West Virginia, and Blue Knob's got a nice selection of skiable terrain. The crews at Liberty Roundtop and Whitetail have done a terrific job. All three are right at full operation. Wispin, Maryland has every run skiable. Seven Springs has enjoyed two feet in the past 10 days and Snow Mountain is shaping up nicely. Trail counts have been climbing at Wyndham Mountain, Gore Mountain and Whiteface in New York State. In Vermont, Killington and Snow are sporting nice early season conditions, just one good snowfall away from a major terrain expansion. Out west, it's been very snowy of late at Sun Valley, here at Jackson Hole and at Park City. Telluride and Colorado got fresh snow this week. Deer Valley and Snowbird are now in fantastic shape. The temperatures in the east will continue to run below normal through the holiday period. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman.